Hello friends, it is Running Kimono and they are rolling out the red carpet over at the Dollar General and signage is finally starting to appear that the 50% off event is taking place this weekend, which is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, in case you missed it, I made a video a couple days back, a very definitive guide on how to navigate the clearance event and uh, a lot of matchups, 100% with digital coupons. If you want to look at this video, it'll be linked in the notes and at the very end. Check it out. Great video. Now, we're going to be talking about POG, which is planogram. So see those goofy, it says clearance 10% off. Um, that is what we're talking about for part of this video. So um, these right now, up until Friday, it's 10% off of these items. And once it hits Friday, it'll be an additional 50% off with the clearance event. So specifically, we're just going to give you an example if you're not sure about this. An item that's a dollar from Sunday to Thursday, it's 90 cents. Once the clearance event starts, the 90 cents is 50% of that, so it's exactly 45 cents. Hopefully that's crystal clear. So the first item that we're going to look at are these vitamins. Uh, they're the Centrum Gummies for $7. And at some stores, it's not even tagged because I know that they're really short on, um, you know, staff. So often tags just don't happen. But this specific one, the ladies one, if you want to scan this one at home, as you can see, it's ringing up for $6.30, as is this men's silver one. Um, and here's the UPC as well. Now, hopefully you had clipped some of these coupons that include a $4.50 off, a $3 off, not the $1.25. You do not want that $1.25 because it's a it's pretty much a nothing coupon for this. And once you load a coupon to the Dollar General app, you can't unclip it. So hopefully you have the same ones as I. Um, if you have the 450 one, here is the matchup. Grabbing one of those gummies on Friday for $3.15. Subtracting that 450, um, it's free plus a dollar thirty-five overage, and you'll absolutely need a filler item to pick up the buck thirty-five. Grabbing one with the three dollar coupon, well, it's fifteen cents. You do not need a filler item for that one. I believe the three dollar one is still you. You can load that, but the four fifty one was a couple weeks back, so you either loaded it or you didn't. Okay, so another great deal is uh, for these Huggies diapers. They're they're five dollars and some change, so they're down to seven dollars. And with the $2 digital, it's down to $1.82 starting on Friday. Here is the UPFC if you want to scan it. It's only size 1, 2, and 3 of the Huggies, I believe, but $1.82 for a bag of diapers, that's absolutely winning. Okay, so this was 40% POG. Of course, the store didn't have stickers, but we have the $1.50 digital coupon, and I believe you could still load this guy. It's for these take-alongs. So here is the UPC if you want to scan it to load that digital coupon. Grabbing two of them, uh, that's $2.25, subtracting that $1.50 digital coupon, um, you're paying $0.75 cents for the two or $0.37 cents per, which is a really great price point. Now, if this one is more your speed, uh, it is the five, they're called snackers. And here is the um, UPC if you want to scan it home. This guy is 270. So grabbing two of them on Friday, that's what it'll ring up for two for 270. Subtracting that $1.50 digital, uh, you're left with paying um, $1.20. For the two, shaking it out to 60 cents for these, um, they're called tag alongs by Rubbermaid. So a new product and a very good price point. Okay, so another POG item, and this one was tagged. Uh, this was the only item tagged at one of the stores I visited. Uh, this is down to $9. As you can see, it's 10, down to nine. No digitals for this guy, so it's $4.50. 50% of nine is 450. And here is the UPC if you'd like to look for this product in your area. And I did notice that the app was kind of uh, glitchy. When I was in a store, it would say that items were not in stock and they were like right in front of me. I'm like, what? Um, so that was kind of weird. So just take it that with a grain of salt, guys. Tons of supplements also part of this. So we have the Rexall um, glucosamine for $1.87 and the more expensive one for nine is down to $3.37 starting on Friday. If you would like to look for these, here are the UPCs. Um, and these will switch over on Friday to the price points that I've just showed you. Um, and I know it's kind of confusing this this uh, POG stuff. So this guy, $6, it's down to $2.25 starting on Friday for some fish oil supplements. Actually, a ton of fish oil supplements are that cost. Here is the UPC for this guy. 
And then there's also um, another Dollar General brand where they have more fish oil. So I don't know if all this stuff is expiring around the same time. It's called Naturalist. So this guy is down to $2.62. And I will show you the UPC here. So boom, here it is. If you're looking for some supplements or if you need it for your diet or wellness, you know, definitely walk down that aisle and see what they have. And not every store the everything was tagged for me so we also have these um slim fast keto is there any manufacturers for this let me know in the comments guys if anything you see you're like oh there's a coupon for that this guy will be 375 starting on friday and here is the upc and they had a whole bunch of different shakes Okay, so Pog is over. Now we're going to look at more clearance, including these 12 packs of this grape. And there's sort of off brand of um, like ginger ale and then the cola. So they are on a break for 127. So it'll be 50% of that. So 63 cents for a 12 pack. Um, even if you're just going to grab the ginger ale uh, knockoff or whatever it is. Clover Valley is the Dollar General brand. Uh, it's their generic brand, but I still think that ginger ale should be pretty good. And for 67 cents for a 12 pack, that is an unheard of price. Okay, so this is definitely uh, the unicorn that you want to be on the lookout for. A couple months back, lots of um, shoppers in the Chicago area were finding these trigger sprays for $1.20. It's kind of like unmarked clearance and there was nothing around here. Well, a truck must have arrived because this is on the shelf in the regular pandemic area. They have a shelf of pandemic stuff along with in the regular cleaning aisle. So it's ringing up for $1.20. So half of that is 60 cents, which is absolutely wild. And um, again, it's not tagged. It's not in the clearance section. It's just in the, it's peppered through the store. And I went to multiple stores and boom, here it is. And just to let you guys know too, um, when I would look on the app with the UPC, this thing was ringing up um, you, that it wasn't in stock. But yes, it was in stock. I went to three different stores yesterday and I kept uh, stumbling across it. If your store is participating in 70% off, this will be 36 cents. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely what it's about. This is Lysol. This is a very good brand. And like 36 cents for that. I think most of us would grab more than one. What a great deal. Here is the UPC if you want to look for this. Again, I was getting this weird message saying like, hey, um, not in stock, but it was in stock because I would scan it. I would be in the store and then boom, like it was right there. How exciting is this one? As I was in one of the stores, I was walking. This isn't a clearance section. This is just a regular end cap. However, it is full, just packed with um, clearance products. And I don't think any of this will be moved. They just left it all there. That and a copy of Annie, a DVD. One thing that did pique my interest that I couldn't find anywhere are these Purex crystals. Now, many stores have been clearing them. I think Purex is probably going to change their packaging or something. Um, but these guys, starting on Friday, will be $1.35 each. I would love to buy a lot of this laundry stuff with a 5 off of 25 because I don't have uh, coupons to go with this. So at least with a 5 off of 35 I would get some savings. So that would be pretty cool. But uh, here it is. And then also they had a Suavitel... Um, fabric softener this specific one and it's a dollar 35 so i wish i had manufacturers for all this stuff but i didn't but they had a good amount of stuff like it was just uh it was a lot to even shake a stick at um just an entire shelf full of stuff so even the visuals i'm telling you look high and low not just in the clearance section and then i think this one i put in my matchups again i know there's a two dollar coupon from the june png it would drop it down to a dollar 72 i mean for this Yes, absolutely. Now, the Toms of Maine deodorant in my matchups video, I was like, I didn't take a picture of this. So this guy would be a buck 87. And then there's a dollar 30 rebate on Ibotta, making it 57 cents. The digital coupon did not attach to this one for me. Um, just to note that. And the expiry date for this one is in July of uh, like next month. So I think this will be a penny item really soon. And you know how I was saying like, you should look high and low for coupons. Look what I found today, a tear pad with two off of twos. So I'm like, oh, uh, and I have until uh, next March to look for the Toms of Maine. So I took a couple of these. I found them at Meyer um, on a display for the Toms of Maine. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is quite the find today. 
Okay, so now we have the Suave uh, Body Wash. These are like cookie and sorbet madness. They're so stinking cute. I'm not sure if there's any manufacturer coupons right now for this, maybe some printables, but just to show you $1.77, unless I had a story of overage, I would not buy these because I do not pay for body wash. <laughs> I mean, they are super cute, but like super cute at a certain price. But, um, you know, if this is your favorite thing or, you know, perhaps. I don't think there's any insert coupons for that. Not that I saw recently. So before I take off a little joke for you guys, I thought I found the mother load of pennies at one of these stores I was visiting. I'm like, oh my God, holiday themed Ziplocs. They're all pennies for me. I penny, penny, penny. They were ringing up full price. So I walked out with nothing. So I just thought that was super hilarious because this is kind of like my, my penny journey. I can never find penny items and I'm a awful penny shopper but I saw this and I know a lot of you can relate it's like oh my gosh not this time never okay guys so as always thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one I hope you like my penny haul and if you did give it a thumbs up bye guys